I don't want to turn this into a debate on hydrophilic cells because I, I just think that they're extremely silly. Um, um, so the, and people have published, there's multiple sort of uh, rebuttals of it, of it online. Um, Why did Musk change his thoughts on hydrogen-fueled cells? What has changed in the last five years? Let's find out. Hydrogen fuel cell cars represent a fascinating fusion of chemistry and engineering, offering an alternative to traditional gasoline-powered vehicles and even battery electric vehicles. Let's delve into how they operate. At the heart of such car is the fuel cell stack, which is responsible for generating electricity to power the vehicle. This is achieved through a process known as electrochemical conversion. Unlike a traditional combustion engine that burns fuel, a fuel cell stack uses hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity through a chemical reaction, with water and heat as the only byproducts. Here's a simplified breakdown of the process. First is the hydrogen storage. The fuel cell cars carry hydrogen gas in high-pressure tanks. When you fuel up the car, you're essentially filling these tanks with hydrogen. Second is oxygen intake. As the vehicle operates, it also takes in oxygen from the air outside. Then we have the fuel cell stack. Inside the stack, hydrogen molecules from the tank are directed to one side of a membrane electrode assembly, MEA, while oxygen from the air is directed to the other side. Then we have the chemical reaction. On the hydrogen side, a catalyst causes the hydrogen molecules to split into protons and electrons. The membrane in the MEA allows protons to pass through to the oxygen side, but not electrons. This separation creates an electrical current, which is harnessed to power the electric motor of the car. Finally, the combination and exhaust. On the oxygen side of the MEA, oxygen molecules, electrons returning from the electrical circuit, and protons that have passed through the membrane combine to form water, which is expelled from the vehicle as vapor. This process continuously generates electricity as long as there is a supply of hydrogen and oxygen. The electric power produced drives the electric motor, which propels the vehicle. The only direct emission from this entire process is water vapor, making hydrogen fuel cell cars a zero emission option from a tailpipe perspective. Hydrogen fuel cell cars also typically have a battery to store excess energy generated by the fuel cell and to provide additional power during high demand situations, like acceleration. The vehicle's regenerative braking system can also recharge this battery. In the next video, we shall learn about the differences between these and a typical EV. Till then, check what University of Manchester has found on origin of calculus. Hint, it wasn't from Newton or Leibniz.